I have three works included in this exhibition, uh, two sculptural works and a printed work. And I think the kind of shared element among them is an investment in an idea of surface. So I'm very interested in surface as a carrier of memory. Um, or in the edges of objects and how they can sort of function as material archives or as ways of recording traces and remains of the processes and histories that have produced them. Um, so in making the works of this show, uh, I started by kind of translating geological processes down to the scale of the body. So I was playing around with actions or gestures like layering, stacking, um, pressing, melting, folding, soaking, um, or the accumulation of dust or byproducts from the studio. Um, and in this way, I suppose I was kind of thinking about how materials cross each other's thresholds or cross categorical thresholds. Um, and I'm really interested in this idea of a spill. Um, so the sculptural work in this show explores how materials can kind of spill into one another, both in a narrative sense, but also physically. Um, and there are moments in this show where materials kind of reveal themselves to be fallible um, or where ruptures or failures kind of um, emerge within the work. Um, so an example of that I suppose would be that there's a molten aluminium um, kind of element in the work that uh, has kind of hardened and made permanent um, an overflow or an error. Um, and there are other points in the work too uh, where um, maybe the marks of mould making are present or visible um, or clay slip becomes a sort of an intrusive marker of the production of the object uh, within the mould making process. Um, so I'm, I'm I suppose interested in this idea of material excess or um, material agency and how um, materials I suppose sort of form each other both um, through engagement with each other's histories and but then also through defining each other's material futures by interacting physically in the work.